Record. Yes, there we go. Perfect. <clears throat> Time waits for no one. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. I'm actually going to turn the uh, audio up a little bit because... We'll turn this up a bit. There we go. Perfect. Don't mind me, by the way. I'm a little sleepy, but that's because I woke up about an hour ago, just like this. Exactly like this, in fact. <clears throat> You know, the trick about this game is you really have to pace yourself. Because if you talk the whole time, you, you get you wear yourself out a lot faster. It's not like any other game where you kind of have these periods of of silence or something. It's uh, a bit more intense. Oh, excuse me. You wouldn't you wouldn't think it is. You wouldn't think so. But it's true. What did we do? So we got, the last time we were there, here, we did the harpist thing. We got the spooky thing, and then the murder happened. Uh, <clears throat> August night. I'm getting you a library card. Right. To the library with May. <clears throat> right. Great. Insightful. Insightful commentary. Welcome in, everyone, of course, those who I recognize. Get ready for a very chill stream. Pretty, you know, short chill stream as they usually are. We'll do this for a couple of hours and then... ...move ourselves along. Hey, bird. Sorry I'm always rude to you. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, bird. I think... I don't remember if May looked like this, but her face looks a little more sad meow. Meow. Maybe that's just me though. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just projecting that. <clears throat> Mom. Excuse me, I have to uh clear clear my throat. <coughs> <coughs> Morning, sunshine. Are you feeling okay? You look a little limp. Like a limp dick. Yeah. Uh, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Ooh, that reminds me. I have a dream I would like to share with you, chat. I'm just being honest. You taking headache meds? What are you, me? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working, kind of not. This is actually perfect because May is like me right now. Or I'm like May. <clears throat> just waking up. I wake up with headaches a lot because I have sleep apnea, or, um, well, not even that, I just get headaches a lot because I strain my eyes. And a terrible, terrible migraine a couple of days ago. Maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than the ten hours or so you already get. Oh, who can just get ten hours of sleep, man, <clears throat> and not feel guilty about it? You know what I mean? Because I, I wish I could just sleep... But then if I sleep, I wake up, and it's the afternoon, and it's like, well, there's the day. What am I going to do? Now I'm just inside for the rest of the night. It's, And then we repeat the whole process again? You've always been my sleepy baby. Oof. Oof! What did you do last night? I went to the library with B. And hello, hot coffee. Yes, hello, everyone. Welcome to the club. That sounds nice. It was... Weird. Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, honey. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. <clears throat> Maybe it's a good day to get out the fresh air. Oops. I'll let you know. Bye, bye, sweetie. That feeling when you'll never have spider mom say bye, sweetie. 
Uh, also, they're right. Sunshine creates serotonin in your body, which is a fundamental mood enhancement chemical. That's why getting out in the sun is generally recommended. For a little bit, at least. Don't mind me, I'm drinking beer. I'm just kidding, it's a Coke. <clears throat> I tried the sugar-free... <coughs> oh, God! <coughs> I'm dying on stream. I tried those uh, sugar free Cokes. Overrated. Not very good. <clears throat> nice and sunny today. I hate rainy days. I just want to never leave bed. I love them. Nice and gray. Sun's too bright sometimes. We need some cloudies. <laughs> Gloomy little eel you are. Eels, mom. Eels, honey. Alright, I'm out. Bye, sweetie. We got the special eel dialogue, chat. Eels. Um, okay, so... Actually, a couple of things. Uh, I'll tell you about the dream, and then I'm gonna give you my thoughts on, uh, Halloween. <clears throat> God, I gotta stop clearing my throat. I'm so sorry, chat. This is why I snore sometimes, because... I can't breathe through my nose, so... And then when I wake up, I'm like, bleh, bleh. I'm making dad noises, and I'm not even a dad. <laughs> so the dream was nothing special, but it was kind of interesting. It was just like, I was basically, I guess, coming out of some kind of facility, uh, some kind of building. It was like this long, infinite, like, white stretch plane of, I guess, snow, but it wasn't snow. It's was just totally flat. Blue sky. And we were coming out, I say we because there were people there. We were walking out of this perfectly sized shaped like cube structure that was also kind of white. And you could only tell it was there because of like a little door. And then people were getting on like, I want to say it was like a ship or a bus. That was the general idea. And then um, people got on it and then they proceeded to leave. And they left me behind and I'm like, oh no, come back. And that was the dream. Having you to bounce ideas off helped. You want to hear a new poem? Sure. <clears throat> this is a short one. Ahem! I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before, too. It's crazy making. Topical. What were you doing at the library? I go to the library... Oh, that's my phone. Shut up, phone. No one cares what you have to say. Hold on, I have to mute my phone. Be quiet, phone. Nobody asked you. Uh, yeah, perfect. Sorry, Chad, I had to... No, but seriously. <clears throat> yeah, we got some eels in chat. Crocodile. Tears. Oh, that's what that is. Ha ha ha, funny. So, <clears throat> yeah, that was the dream. It wasn't a bad dream or a good dream, it was just a dream. It sounds like a Pink Floyd music video, says someone in chat. Um, yeah, I guess so. I hope not. Pink Floyd did The Wall, didn't they? I play a mean banjo, claw hammer. Really? I play bass. We should play together sometime. You know Long Black Veil? Yeah. You know Tom Dooley? Yeah, my dad likes that stuff. You know Willer Garden? No. Eh. Um. <clears throat> so. I don't think my thoughts are going to be very cohesive. Oh, what? It's this guy. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, we got to get the band together. We didn't do that last playthrough. Mission acquired. Okay. Hey, little girl. I'm a legal adult. Oh, sorry. Who are you? Liz, I used to live here. Where? This building right here before you were born. Why'd you move away? I went to school and wandered off, I guess. Do you like it better where you live now? Mm, it's nice. Awesome Springs is nice, too. <clears throat> I think it's alright. 
It's all right. Yeah, pretty all right. When I was a girl, about your... I'm 20. Height. <laughs> I used to lay awake at night. Worried that statue could come to life and climb in my window. Oh god, that's spooky. <clears throat> you never want someone hanging around outside your window. Not magical evil statues, at least. Yeah, nothing evil or magic should get that close. I live in the attic. No one can get to my window. That's good. Not even vampires or warlocks or skeleton men. Oh, really? I'm glad we had this talk. Me too. See ya. Is that so, May? You think you're safe? You think you're safe? <laughs> so, the Halloween review. Alright, um... You know, last stream I was I was listening to myself a little bit. Because I like to see how I read things and how, what voices I use. I was like, oh, I'm so excited, chat. What I was saying about the movie. And then I watched it. I streamed it through Peacock. And uh, the more I think about the movie, the less I like it. Um, like, I, I, you know, I'm playing a game. I can't really give my full in-depth thoughts without sounding like an idiot. Um, so I'll try to give you the Spark Notes version of it. Like, I was expecting schlock. When I saw trailers for this movie and I found out that it was delayed by three years, some of it due to COVID, some, some of it due to production problems... Or the decision, I think, there's a rumor that the movie was actually supposed to just be two, and it ended up being stretched into three movies. And I hear all these things, and I'm like, okay, this is probably just going to be schlock. And then when I see the trailer, uh, oh, by the way, if you've seen any trailer for Halloween Kills, you have been spoiled on 60% of the movie kills already. There's that. When I saw firefighters trying to fight Michael Myers in the trailer, I'm like, uh-oh, this looks like schlock. Now I'm okay with schlock, Chad. I'm, I'm okay with schlock. I'm okay with slasher schlock. As long as it's fun and entertaining. And I feel like... You know, like... Th that's never been Michael Myers. Like, I've never seen Michael Myers as... Uh, like a, a surrogate Jason. I've never seen this entity as like... Oh, you know, he goes out and he does these crazy things like you know picking up someone in their tent bag and throwing against the tree i've never seen him like that <clears throat> um yeah nip in the air at night i like fall when it gets cold me too real pretty out as well i used to cry at fall trees when i was a kid why because they were so pretty you have a daughter yeah where is she sorry it's fine um, there, there's like the opening scene, like, yeah, Michael Myers comes out of the fiery building. And for that, who the hell are you? I've never seen you. Oh, wait, yes, I have. <clears throat> Michael Myers comes out of the building and it's cool for a moment. Cause you're like, oh shit. And then they, they legitimately like firemen trying to fight Michael Myers. And I'm like, oh no. So. So that, the movie quickly establishes itself as schlock. Um, but I'm like, okay, I'm fine with that. I'll, I'll take that as long as it's entertaining. I can I can deal with a schlocky movie. Problem is, the movie itself is is, is fairly boring. Um, <clears throat> what the movie should have done was maybe focused on, you know, a small group of people. And kept us to like a, a core set of characters what it ends up doing is jumping around to various characters we don't care about because we don't get any time to connect with them and it just continues to jump around and you get these long boring stretches of dull inhuman dialogue and what by that i mean like the characters don't sound like real people uh you like Instead of being characters, they just come off of these, like, silly tropes. There's, like, there's a scene where, like, you see the mixed couple, uh, in, like, the first, like, the first people. You, like, again, if you've seen the trailer, hey, guess what? You got spoiled. And, like, they would, it would be scary because, you know, Michael Myers is coming and you, you would want to feel bad because, oh, shit, you know. But instead, they're, they're written almost like jokes. 
they don't come off as real people. They just, like, the woman is, like, messing with a little mini flying drone, and it's just very silly and, like, the, the tonal whiplash of this movie and the quality drop is so astonishing from 2018 to this, where in 2018 everything felt focused, and there's this looming sense of dread, <clears throat> and you know Myers is coming, and... It, it, it's scary because now you see what he's capable of doing. Like, oh shit, he'll kill a kid. He doesn't, you know. And in this one, it's just uh, not so much that. It's just you introduce characters so that they can die very quickly. Which would be fine, but hey, guess what? That's barely any of the movie. That's like maybe 10 to 15 minutes of the movie um, in total. The movie is, uh, it's all over the place. Sorry, I know I'm talking about this a lot. And it's hard to, to uh, you know, give really cohesive reasons about... Hey, May Borowski? I don't remember, Jen. Where you're playing a game, but... Uh, man, it was... <laughs> it was, uh, it was like, I look back at this and I'm like, I would definitely not want to watch this movie again. <clears throat> the scenes with Michael are fine because that's where the intensity is. Even if I don't know a character super well, it's like... Oh, uh, you know, something is happening, at least. There's a reason to care about the person, or at least get a, a feel for the tension, you know, as you try to survive in this encounter, but it, it barely happens. They throw away so many of the characters. It's like, it definitely feels like three different people wrote the movie, too. You remember the characters, the, the really quick side characters from the beginning chat in 2018? Uh... The two black characters that were dressed up like as a nurse and a doctor. Remember them? Well, they come back for this. And at first I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. They brought those back. So, you know, maybe these two are going to be like our main characters. Or at least maybe some more mainish ones. Uh, not so much. And that would have worked really well if they had just consolidated their cast to a handful of people. Starting to feel the side effects of Myers rampaging around or doing whatever. But there's no tension because the characters are dumb and silly and... <clears throat> uh, a lot of... The, and fun, it's funny, too, because a lot of people would describe this movie as, like, uh, a love letter to Halloween fans. And I have to think, like... I'm, I think to myself, like, which Halloween fans? Because there's two. There are people who have stuck with this series, despite all the schlocky, terrible movies. And it... Oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry, Chad. And enjoy them no matter what. You know, you watch Halloween, The Return of Michael Myers, The Revenge of Michael Myers, or The Curse, or H2O, and you, you still like that stuff, right? And then there's the fans of the series who like Halloween as a one-off movie because it was uh, a nice, perfectly wrapped movie, much like 2018 was. Um, so I don't know. <clears throat> Michael Myers vs. EM Responder sounds pretty goofy. Oh, it is! It's very silly. And I and they try to throw in, like, comedy, too. There's, like... Michael Myers is, like... Someone sprays him with the fire hose, and I'm like... I'm like, oh, that's what we're... Oh, that's where we are? This is what we're doing? Again... Uh... Yeah, this is Greg's cousin. Sorry, I didn't read that dialogue, chat, but I was too busy rambling. Um... I should have just stood over here and looked out mournfully as I as I discuss this movie. Like, you know, Myers, I've never seen as a uh, surrogate Jason. I've never seen him as someone who walks into crowds and does a lot of crazy slasher shit. In fact, this feels more like a movie for uh, Jason fans than anything else. Less so uh, Myers. Are the kills entertaining? Sure. Um, but because you don't really care about any of the characters at all, because they're just so rote, and they're just so badly written, and the dialogue is silly, and... Uh, you know, the, the lingering dread and the kind of uncertain, anxious fear that you kind of felt from the first one isn't really present. I say the first one, I mean the, the 2018 one. It's, uh... It's pretty silly. So, and if the rumor is true, if in fact this movie was supposed to be 
three mo three movies, or this franchise is supposed to be three or two. God, I keep fucking my words up. Then, yeah, that makes sense because this movie is stretched and it's padded, and they use flashbacks, flashbacks chat to the fucking like first movie, and I'm like, oh, you can't do that. You can't do that. When did I play this game again? Oh, this is the Spook Temper playthrough. Uh, we started last month. Hey, are you free? Maybe. You want to go on a quick adventure? Uh, don't you have a job, Mom? Yeah, the pastor's gone. I'm going to skip out. Oh, yeah. Let's go skip out of work with Mom. Anyway. Only I'm skipping work, hon. Oh, hush. I'm an accessory to the crime. Also not a crime, sweetie. Uh, yeah. So to wrap up my thoughts, if you if you liked Halloween 2018 and you liked the first Halloween for the uh, the spookiness and the kind of fear factor it in, it inflicted, you're not going to get that. Uh, this movie this movie has now it's it's very much nostalgic because it, it has joined the ranks of its predecessors. Um, and you know what the sad part is, Chad? It's still pretty much a lot better than four or five H two O. Certainly better than the zombie re remake, so... Oh, man. <clears throat> I could go into more depth and lay out my thoughts a little bit accurately, but... I don't think I've ever been up here. We used to come here all the time. Did we? No, we as in my friends and when I was your age. Oh, okay. I'm not used to using any other wees. So there it is, Chad. Believe it or not, I've had several Wii's. Huh. Very in character. I remember this scene. It's cute. Meow. This is nice. Oh boy, mom adventure, yes. Used to be a lot more trees up around here. They got cut down when they put in the towers. I don't remember that. You know, all kinds of things happened before you were born. What? The minor parts of history took place. Yes. Excuse me. What is this place? Yenny's Field. You ever heard of it? Uh, no. I don't think so. Back in the 30s, there was this woman and her daughter. Walking here, and the woman's daughter is in front of her, and then she's just gone, like, disappeared. <clears throat> what happened? Turns out that was a, there was a sinkhole that opened up when a pillar collapsed in the mines in the hill. I don't know if this is, like, Possum Springs lore, or if this is just a commentary on sinkholes. Yeah, no one could see it because of the grass. <laughs> I'm dying. My name was Jenny. Jenny's Field. And they never found her. Just whoosh. Gone. So, uh, wait, why are we here? What, you not up for a little risk taking? Damn, Mom. Meow. Ah! What's wrong? I thought it was a sinkhole thing. Hmm, how about that? <laughs> oh. I could move down there. Oh, look. That's cute. You can only see your little head. <clears throat> What's that? For some reason, before Unified pulled out, they brought this old lime furnace up on the mountain. Why? Who knows? Unified did a lot of things. It looks like it's been here forever. It's just sunk into the ground a lot. Like Jenny! But slower. We used to climb up there. You want to try? <laughs> oh, sweetie. I had you also and a lot of birthdays and donuts since then. And not much climbing. Mom's kind of thick is what she's saying. Meow. 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 Okay. So, good thing this chimney is sealed up here. Haha, <laughs> yes, good thing. What can you see up there? It's been a while. Yeah, uh, Possum Springs and most of the valley. 
What's it look like? A quilt. Like someone dumped out some blocks. Sounds about right. I remember I couldn't tell if being up there made everything feel bigger or smaller. It's a weird feeling. I had a dream when I was your age. It was in the big parking lot out by the tracks. I'd start running, but there was always more parking lot. What do you think it meant? I don't know. It feels weird to tell you what your dreams mean. Why? You're my mom. Eh? Why did we come up here to uh, get blah 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 mother? Well, I was hoping you'd fall into a sinkhole, obviously. Oh, well, that didn't work out, did it? Darn. Guess I'll just have to keep you. I couldn't see what your expression was when you said that. Do you need to? No. Well, see you at home. Hey! Oh, God. Sorry, I thought my stream froze. We did the mom adventure. <clears throat> I think we need to go feed the rat children, too. So let's go do that. Rat babies! Methinks I spy a tunnel shark. Scary monster in the dark. Holy shit! I didn't really see it. Please don't listen. I wonder if the side guy is going to be here. You know what? I think... Oh... Should we do the side quest chat? We did it last time. It kind of takes up a lot of time. I think I think I will skip that side quest for now. There's not really... Oh, wait. Oh, let's go check on the rats. It's in the first playthrough, and all it is is just a lot of junk. And I don't think I would be reading much of the dialogue. And I would like to eventually finish this game this week, in fact. So I think I will skip that for now. Because we did that last time, if you if you remember. And mostly it's just like... Oh, I like this guy. <laughs> Let's go check on the rats. I remember the sewer part taking a while? Yes. And not only did it take a while, but I elected to read every single thing, and I'm like, oh boy. <clears throat> so we, we will... Uh... We'll leave that one out. So I would like to finish this game. Oh, God. All right, my brain just stopped working. Right, okay. Uh, let's double check on the rats. Uh, so... By the way, um, I'm not sure if this is true. Is Silent Hill 3 out on the PC now? Let's talk to B real quick. I'm not going to do a B quest, but I will talk to her. B, my beloved. Hey, B. Hey, May. I think I'm going to burn this place down. Oh, cool. But also maybe it might have consequences. We could take the insurance money and not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. You're going to burn this place down for me. Oh, sweet! But also, maybe I'd go to jail? No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So, work's not going well. Ah. Uh... Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Alright, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Uh, not yet, B. Okay, well, let me know. can do B's graveyard. Well, I might do the graveyard one. First, I need to double check on the rats. I keep forgetting the pathway to the rats. Oh, anyway, spooky games. Um. Yeah, exactly. Right. I don't know. Uh. 
So the reason I mentioned is because if Silent Hill 3 is on PC, I'd be willing to play a little bit of that. Uh, but if not, who's Lori? First, let's check on the rat children. Uh, it's a couple of spook things I would like to try. We've got Dusk. Dusk is a... Not a spooky game, but it's it's an, a boomer shooter with the spookiness. Look, rats! Yep, we got the rat quest! Rats, rats, rats. <laughs> Vermin! The ear twitch is adorable. My babies have left the nest! Rats! Rats, 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 rats. I think we gotta go somewhere. For the rat quest. Um... But yeah, I do want to do, like, one night or two nights of a few spooky things. It's not going to be a grand old event, you know, because, uh, you know, I'm not a big boy streamer. Hey. Hello. I'm May. Hello, May. I'm Salim. <clears throat> Are you a busker? Are you busking? What's busking? I don't know. I think it's when you play outside and people give you money. <clears throat> Are you gonna give me money? No. Then I'm not busking. Cool. I think if we find the other instrument players, <clears throat> they play together, but I don't know where they are. Go talk to Lori. <clears throat> Drawing something? Yeah, drawing a bad guy for a movie... Lori is the type of girl who would like Halloween kills, which is fine. <laughs> Have you, like, filmed anything ever? I made a little movie with my phone, and I pirated some movie programs. It's real bad. What's it about? Um, Lady finds a window in her wall that wasn't there before, and it's like looking at her backyard, but it's always sunset. And there's a guy standing there she can't quite see. Really? I am creeped. Oh, thanks. I thought it sucked. Where'd the idea come from? I like a lot of horror movies that are really gory. <laughs> yeah, but gory isn't always scary. Thanks, Lori. It, in fact, she is doing a perfect job summing up my problems with kills. So I was thinking of what's scary. Thank you, Lori, so much. And I don't know, you're at home, but there's something new, or maybe you just never noticed it before. And there's someone strange very nearby, and I don't know... What? Nothing. Creepy. Okay, I'm off. See ya. I like that I've given Lori, like, a valley girl voice, even though she's nothing like that. It's funny. Ugh! Saw that chat? That was the cat jump special. Ugh! I like that she always... Used to sometimes see other people up here. <clears throat> this is not a thing anymore. Am I just old and out of touch? I would definitely roll off and die. I think this is the highest point in the game. Well. Meow. Okay. Um, so. <clears throat> I can't believe they leave the band stuff in there. What if someone steals it? I should start taking Greg's base home. You know, in case. Hmm. I think we'll do... B's Graveyard? <clears throat> the B quest? Hmm. Or I could put it could put it to a vote. We could do Greg, we could do B, or we could do Angus. So I could take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? No. 
I'm gonna look around. If you guys decide, I will do the thing. If you don't decide, I'll make that decision for you. Like real democracy. Hey, you never told me why you were feeling down the other day. Do I gotta tell you everything? No, no, just asking is all. Well, ask someone else. That's weird. We're able to go into their apartments. I need to check on that. Whoa, who is this? The gamer. I know you. No. Oh. Are you Greg's cousin? You really look like his cousin. No. Who are you then? Try to find your city council. Uh, town council? We're a town. Why are you looking for them? Just figured you'd be helpful. Did you program something to make that job not suck? Got it! You're Donna's cousin. Yeah. <laughs> it was an accident. I was nine. I thought the bird would like it. Like an old man, uh, like I was saying, I've been listening to Garrison Keller chat, and if that name doesn't sound familiar, I don't blame you. He's like a stand-up comedian who has like a sort of pastor's way of speaking, and it, these jokes are so old. He basically makes jokes about this place called Wobegon Falls, which is a fictional town in Michigan. Stories of Lutheran immigrants who are Norwegian Lutheran immigrants, I believe. And I work, and then I listen to that usually every night, and it's starting to become a habit. And I'm like, oh no, you're getting old if you enjoy this stuff. Hey! What? You want to hang out? I got plans. Okay, well, I don't think you're going to get kidnapped or anything. Yeah, sure. Up on my bike. Tied up behind the food donkey. I guess you could, like, run behind. Okay, fine. Kilo should be here. Kilo's birthday is today. Happy birthday to our special rat. Ugh. I don't think anyone's been in that shed for years. Sorry you fell off. Yeah, that's cool. I feel so alive. Grapes are cool like that. Skin my elbow. I can ride you to the hospital for this serious wound. Put the siren on. Do you trust me? Uh... Never thought about it before, Greg. I mean, not Greg, Germ. Okay, bye! Woo! Oh my god, Germ! Oh god, dude. Hey! What the hell, man? Jump, it's fine. Oh, for real? Oh yeah. Whoa! Ah! That was really long, actually. You would die. Dude, you scared me to death. Why? You jump off of big stuff all the time. Yeah, but that's in town. Nice flat ground. Like, you can just go jumping off cliffs and whatever. Oh, yeah. I forgot you grew up in town. Uh, so, what are we doing here? I come here a lot. I wanted to show you something. You hang out at a sewer pipe. I mean, not exclusively. I saw like ten rats down here once. Oh, well that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. 
Even Night in the Woods managed to have a sewer level! I wonder if these scribbles meant something. Okay, so... I started coming down here a few months ago to uh, just hang. Okay. And I noticed... Oh, hey, rabies. Ah! Rabies is my sewer friend. The great thing about opossums, chat, is they can't get rabies. So opossums are cool. Its name is rabies. His name is rabies. His name is rabies. I found him when they pulled that body out of here. After that big flood a few months ago. Oh, neat. He was sad and wet and hungry, so I brought him chips and ice cream. Oh, sounds right. And I wanted the other possums to not pick on him. So I named him after something they're all afraid of. This is the best story ever. He's so rad. Hey, rabies, speak. <clears throat> oh my god. He's gonna roll this whole ravine someday. I love him. I got some rats downtown. Oh yeah, the rats. Sweet. Ancient cave paintings. No, not new at least. What do you think it means? Rabies is trash king. It's a prophecy. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Do you think these mean something, chat? Like, do you think that's some lore about, like, secret cult shit? Yeah, I think this is the, uh... The cult stuff, right? Because you see the, uh, the building in the background that you have to go visit. No. Written by ancient hobos. There's, like, all kinds of secret places like this around here. Yeah, this is definitely the cult shit. Right? That's what I think. I'm, like, the only person to really map the... Well, it's rabies. Hey, Rabies, what you got there? Oh my god! Is that Fiasco Bar? Is that a Fiasco Bar? You want me to unwrap that for you, guy? No. Holy shit! Oh, that's so cute. No way, he'd pee all over everything. And dig a hole in the wall and live there. Oh, yeah. Rabies is wild. Let him be wild. Oh, look, he's eating it! Possums do eat food. Mm. See ya. Cute. Cold foreshadowing? Yeah, for sure. Not that, like, I would say the lore of the game is, like, super, super, super deep. It's like, you know, town cult trying to bring it back. By talking to an old god. You know, you know, I have a theory, though. It's either one or two things. Either they were talking to an entity, or it's literally just, like, chemical exposure. Um, I, I God, because I remember, like, you remember when we were in the library with B, and we were looking at the shit, and it was like, oh, there's, like, these these gas openings and these, these things happening in the, uh... Why can I go in here? I'm thinking, like, maybe these, like, leaks or chemical things may have led to hallucinations, and maybe people thought they were speaking to a creature when... I'm up here now! Oh, it's a shortcut! Oh, when I... Uh... And I immediately fall off a shortcut. So. That's fine. We do this the cat way. Meow. What's in the news? Yeah, I'm shortage this Thanksgiving. Oh jeez, we need the yams. Better get them now before they're gone. There's gonna be, like, yam riots, because not enough yams. Holy shit, this game. <sighs> we are dealing with shortages because workers are going on strike, because they should be. Worse reasons. <coughs> <coughs> oh god. Let me go back in there. Is that just a shortcut? Or is there something else? Check. Hello, Swaggles. How are you? Uh. 
Yeah, have a nice one, dude. Thanks for stopping in. Can I? Oh, okay. This was okay. Okay. Um, I was wondering if there was some extra shit in there. Let's see. Okay. I'm gonna double check one more thing, and then we're gonna do. We'll do the B quest. <clears throat> Here's a trend that I really wish would uh, go away, by the way. Um, NFTs. The reason I mention that is because apparently... Uh, Behavior, the company that designs Dead by Daylight, got vaguely interconnected with uh, fucking NFTs. And, you know, not only is the concept of an NFT just so unbelievably fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I thought this was going to open up. Uh, of course, most of you know that they are just awful environmental hazards, but they're just so stupid. And, like, have you seen some of the things that come up? Oh, this is just... Oh. Oh, that's cute. Look, you know, y you see them and you're like, what the fuck is this? The, the Like, this apparently is what capitalistic art looks like. You need capitalism to inspire art, they say, making some of the ugliest shit imaginable that you don't even own. Campfires and corn dogs, that sounds awesome. Uh So I don't know, I was just reminded of that. This behavior being like, ah, oh, we have these vaguely related NFTs, and it's like, why? Why? Little Nas apparently decided to sponsor NFTs, and I'm like, brother, I love your music, and I appreciate your... you know, unapologetic, unapologetic attitude towards who, you're, who you are and your identity, but for fuck's sake... NFTs just feel like a giant crypto scheme. No ins no sane human being would look at the things NFTs are and be like, yeah, I want this. It's poop madness. It's madness. Poop madness. What's an NFT? What is a good way to summarize an NFT? Because there are a lot of things. Think of it like an electronic receipt for art you don't actually own. Do you pay an artist for a commission? Now you might say to yourself, like, I wanna oh I wanna buy some art. And I wanna buy art for myself. Oh, okay, go commission an artist, right? Like, I wanna get a portrait, or I wanna get a thing of my OC! My cat OC. Naturally, like a sane human being, you find an artist, you commission them, that you they produce the digital art, and there it is, it's yours. And NFT is like, uh, you purchase a pre-made garbage drawing that someone made that you don't actually own. You just own the electronic receipt, and that's it. But here's here's the worst part, my friend. Here's the here's where it gets really fucking bad. In order to host an NFT, because it's all electronic, NFTs have to be like like always on because they're electronic. They use a very rare resource called I think Ethereum. They are just like horrifying for the environment because they use so much power to to maintain right you remember like crypto farms and that horse shit think of it like that but for fake ugly art okay let's go do beast quest that wasn't stolen art true and it's also just full of theft and scams and it's crypto schemes and crypto schemes related to like ransomware and bullshit like that it's all just a fucking mess. Sounds stupid? Yeah, it is. It's just, it makes no sense. I went right past the B. Let's go do B. Laz, hello, Ink. I'm gonna call you Ink now. Why did you change your name? How dare you? I'm just floating around. B. 
be. That's my rant. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Yeah, we need some spook. Let's get this graveyard going. Okay, so from what I understand, we're in the end phase of the game. We got to do graveyard, the Greg, the Angus. Then there's like one final like thing with Greg and Angus. I think there's the thing we missed. You know how like in the last uh, playthrough we did, we went to B's party and uh, it was that big thing. It's going to be Greg this time, I think. Actually, I'm not sure. Do you still do the proximity chapter if you haven't done B stuff? Does that happen anyway? Augie. We'll find out. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year-round. See, this is an actual goth. This is what being a goth is like. <clears throat> Well, there's the statue. Oh, also spooky. Uh, I thought you were actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but like, ah, whatever. So, do we wait here? Yeah. And a ghost shows up? Uh, this is not dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Um, know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, well, what's scary? Uh, things are, like, monumentally screwed right now. No one in power gives a shit. Or they're actively making it worse. Out of spite or profit. Whoa, whoa, jeez. I meant, like, a skeleton or something. <laughs> a skeleton. Yes, me. Always topical. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something, and you make it spookier. Oh, I can share you a creepy story I read. Uh, there's like a the channel that sh people share their posts about like things that happen to them. There's one about like creepy things, and 80% of these were just dumb or they were made up. There's one though that really was really chilling. Um, there's a kid who. He was in his house late at night, and he thought he saw, like, a weird light coming through his door. He thought, like, he kept seeing this, like, UFO light, like a, a, an orb light, right? He looked, at, he looked at his windows. There was this orb light that was shining into his windows, and it would go from window to window, and it looked like a UFO, like a weird little alien thing. It didn't make sense, right? And uh, he thought it was some kind of weird, spooky light ghost. No, actually, it turned out to be somebody's flashlight looking in his house. I'm not doing a good job with the story, but I'm like, oh, that's that's pretty chilling. That was good. <laughs> Le Graveyard. How about this? <laughs> Ooh, which one, chat? A skeleton in your hallway. A skeleton outside your window. Hmm. I would say hallway because the skeleton is now inside your home. The skeleton is outside, so you can protect yourself, but in this scenario, he's already in there. A regular stranger dude in your hallway at night. That's even worse. And he's got a knife. And he's whispering things. Ooh, spooky. And he's a health insurance industry executive. Oh, okay. He wants to profit off your sickness and fear. What's he whispering? Complicated fine print. Me, this isn't fun. And he's a ghost. Thank you. The whispering... I thought he was a skeleton. No, he's a regular dude. The whispering ghost of a healthcare executive. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb. Let's go.
I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, all right? Totally no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'll check out some graves. All righty. I took a class on death and dying. When I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Check out a graver three. It was a dinosaur class? Chad, I've been to college. Uh, they didn't have no paleontology classes. Yeah, what the fuck? Where's my degree in dinosaurology? Maybe I wouldn't have flunked out if that was a thing. You want to learn about dinosaurs? Yeah. You'd have to learn about biology, though. You'd still have to take courses like that. In uh, zoology, because you still have to learn about, like, stuff. Standard headstone, nothing fancy. And now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like, any horse you can think of. She saw us from horses to internet horses. Good run. Different kinds of colleges? Yeah. Is Are you telling me... Oh, this music bops. Are you telling me there are entire schools dedicated to dinosaur? I want to go to that college. Taken by flu, except today that might be COVID. Live like 14 years. That's not enough time. That's not enough time. I don't know why this music gets so hard. Ah! Old man! Hey! Evening! Evening. What you up to, bud? Uh, looking for a ghost while my friend visits her mom's grave. You? I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper, what have you. Ooh, can we shop for a sec? Or talk shop for a sec. Shoot. Do you dig the graves with a shovel? Uh, I want to know this. In the pale moonlight. Oh, we got a little backhoe. Scares the ghost away too, I reckon. Does this job pay well? Eh, you think about digging graves? Hmm, depends on the pay. Not much. Oh. I'm a wedding DJ on the side. Freaking sweet. Nobody talks like this, but I wish they did. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. He smooched it. So right. God, B. How long does a mom visit take? TikTok, Beatrice. We got places to be. Oh, shit. I am a jerk. Yeah, my, um, those are kind of the fun classes. I remember I had this professor who was a little too into horror movies. He was a cool dude, but I, I don't know. Just sometimes, you know, a college will allow you to just do whatever you want as a professor. Uh, and I liked this class. It was one of, it was a very fun class, but it was um, a class called Philosophy of horror films. Um, and we would go in, we would watch a horror film. We watched Cube. We watched, I think, The Triangle? No, not The Triangle. We watched The Ruins, which was about, like, the man-eating plants. Uh, that's actually a pretty good movie. I recommend that one. Watched The Thing, of course. And watched a bunch of other ones. Uh, none of the classics, though. None of, like, you know, memorable ones. Uh... And it was neat, but like you're saying, it was a one-off class, you know. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Hey, uh, how'd it go? It was fine. She's still there. Were you worried that you know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yeah. 
that's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Now, the sinkhole thing, Chad, I have another theory. Either that is natural occurrences, or maybe that's the evil god eating the town. I don't know. Couldn't afford the hill, so I was worried. You're worried the ground's just gonna, like, cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard! I shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet here we are. Alright, are you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And voices. Hmm, that's, uh, spooky. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. Yeah, sure. Yeah, he, uh, my teacher was like, he loved the thing. He loved the thing so much, that was like the premise of one of his things. And he was like, like, the, the primary question of that was like, is the thing evil? So that's a big discussion we got into. Um, so it was neat. It was a neat little gimmicky class, but. He taught like intro to philosophy. He taught critical thinking, you know. Sorry, I just have to soak in these nerds for a quick second. Meow, 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 meow. Who the hell are you? I actually live next to a graveyard. Uh, but it wasn't spooky. Teens, they're weird teens. Oh. All right, well, we are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We got it, who shall pass, and who shall remain. I'm not going to do all their voices. I'm going to just ruin my voice. All right, well, answer us these questions truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. All right, fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question... Have you ever done it? Done it? You can just call it fucking. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer! No. Yes. I don't know. Has May... You think May is boned, chat? I don't know. Uh... I don't know. I want to hear her lie. I believe May's done it. Yeah. It was fantastic. Really? No, I'm very much lying. Oh, okay. And you? Yep. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know about this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Ooh, who did this happen with? Ugh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? Uh, but, but what is math camp? You go and do, like, math stuff and camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex. It wasn't good. Top-notch math, though. Yeah, I can't imagine math nerds would be very good at boning. So, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. God, fine. Describe your dream date. Ah, <sighs> these are the stupidest questions. Yet, yeah, don't you want to ask something spooky? Dream date. Fine. Uh... He'd be tall, he'd dress cool, really smart, likes good music, and, um, we go to the movies. Boring. You. Wrestling. Like you're gonna wrestle, or you're gonna, like, watch wrestling? We're gonna go see wrestling. May I? I mean, wrestling is just a metaphor, but you're, you're gonna go see wrestling. You go watch. You go watch Bray Wyatt do his thing as the Fiend. You go watch... Undertaker and Goldberg completely fuck everything up and not sell their match and just ruin your night. Yeah, they buy us tickets. Alright, that's a... They? Guy or gal? I'm not picky. And we drive out to Hocklesburg. <laughs> to the convention center. And we watch. Unstoppable Hayseed versus the impending Kronk. You eat corn dogs. Mmm. I could eat a corn dog right now. I don't watch wrestling. 
You should. It's like anime. It's ridiculous. It's great. I do. It's great. Nobody cares. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer. Um, one time I farted in front of the class. <laughs> uh, that's it? What were you expecting? That sucked. Go. Uh... Oh god, the corn dog is a metaphor? <laughs> that's a little too obvious. Yeah, it's a wrapped wiener. A wiener. One time in junior high, one time in high school, one time in college. I've never heard these other two. Let's do the high school one. I went to the prom with this guy, Cole. Oh, wow. I've been wanting this story for years. Oh, is this... Go get dead, Angel Face? And it was awkward, and I had to wear a dress. Couldn't slow dance. And he was really nice and stuff, I guess. And I tried to kiss him. But somehow, I screwed it up and drew blood? You bit him. How bad did you mess up this kiss? I have no idea, but he was bleeding a lot. So, I like, rushed him to the bathroom to get paper towels, so I'm shoving these paper towels into his mouth, and I overdo it, and he starts choking and like, fighting back, and I'm like, chowing down on candy lights. <laughs> Wait, what? From where? I stole them from the tables and shoved them down my dress. So I'm plowing through these almonds and one gets caught in my throat and poor Cole is like slumped against the bathroom wall. I try to give him myself the Heimlich maneuver and it works, but, but I puke all over Cole. Chicken cordon blue. This is amazing. <sighs> right then someone walks in and sees Cole dazed and bleeding and choking and me puking into the sink so I pull all the paper towels out of Cole's mouth and for some reason I think to flush him down the toilet and that makes it overflow so I grab Cole and pulled him out of the bathroom both of us covered in puke and blood and toilet water and he ran away and left and he was my ride how did you get home <sighs> that kid Josh who rode his tractor to prom so we're slowly drawing to my house, cars slowing down and honking while I'm on the back crying my eyes out. <clears throat> that was seriously messed up. Hey, I... I have nightmares about it like once a week. I'm gonna have nightmares about it. Can we pass now? Yeah, nobody's gonna top that. You have come face to face with your lowest moment. Unburdened. Yeah, for real. What? What the fucking hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. <laughs> Forget it. Let's go. Meow, 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 meow. Um. We've all, we've all had a story like that, right, chat? Something kind of embarrassing? I don't think it's quite a disaster like that, but... Do I have something that embarrassing? Nothing I would share with, with people. Because my embarrassing memories aren't like, funny, hee-hee, ha-ha. They're like, oh, these hurt. These are not good memories. So, like, ghosts. Ghosts? I don't know if I believe in them, but... Yeah. You know how you've said you've seen been seeing ghosts tonight? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams, because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But, like, did you ever see my mom? Yes. Uh, no. I mean, I can't really tell. I don't think ghosts were, like, people. They're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like echoes. Oh. Trust me, none of the places look like super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang there. <laughs> That's like, I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. Alright, anyway. So, the bad news is that we are locked out. By that big ass gate. Ugh, I'll make a giant gate in a graveyard. To keep people like you out and stop what you're probably gonna do. 
Hmm. Yeah, we'll never know for sure. All right. Well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. Oh, I can tell you one. I mean, I don't... Is this appropriate to share? We'll find out. You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Yeah, being a teen sucks, of course. God, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost. I'm just the driver. Fine. Hang out. I'll be back. But you know, when you're a teen, everything is just the worst. Life is the worst. People are the worst. Kids are pieces of shit. They make fun of you for everything. Um... But the problem is, too, like, oh my god, the boners chat? Jesus fucking Christ, man. You just you just couldn't exist without, like, like, oh, boner. You couldn't just sit the fuck down, minding your own business, not even thinking, like, the Zorn. No. God, fucking, how did I fuck that up? Slip right off the edge, my god. I would be in reading class, which was one of my favorite classes, because I just got to read. I'd always read ahead of the class. I could spend 40 minutes being like, yeah, I'm cool. While the, the rest of the class struggled because they sucked. Um, but even then, it was just like, oh, boner. And it's like, for fuck's sake. It was really annoying. Really, really fuck annoying. And like... Because then it'd be time to leave and you're just like, oh, oh, boner, not now. You know, I hated it. It was so annoying. I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. That's getting late. Mm-hmm. My back hurts. So, what do we need to do? Uh, I'm going to go find little Joe's grave, and if he doesn't show up, I'm going to knock you until he does. <laughs> You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Fine. Whatever. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, that really, you know, that was just, that was a lot of middle school. It's infuriating, you know? I wasn't happy about that. I wasn't happy to be like, for f I'm just trying to fucking sit here. Because, you know, it's just, your body is just like, hmm. Your body and your brain are just not cooperating. So. Joe Shade. Yeah, this is him. So what do we do here? Uh, I guess I'm just going to look around for ghosts. Don't make this a thing. It's not a thing. It's cool. May hey, I am here for you right now. Sorry. You had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. Thanks, Beatrice. Beatrice's best girl. Any ghost over there? No, B. You'd know, I'd say. <laughs> okay, okay. Hmm, I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. Good job, B. May, yeah. May being able to jump around. She's like this small, plump little round cat. And yet she's super athletic. And I'm like, this isn't real life. <laughs> it's like, there's no way. How do you do that? This grave is for a horse, I think. I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. I believe she falls. Yeah. Owen Wilson, what about him? He exists. This is stupid! What were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. You know, this is reminding me, I don't really miss Conyers 
or Covington, because those places sucked. But I do miss Old Town Conyers, because they would do little fall festivals, you know. I do have some nice memories of that. I remember once uh, my folks and we went just kind of around the town, and they'd have little vendors. Uh, I remember I got some fresh brewed cider. Like, actual cider, not like hard cider, and it was great. It was crisp, and it was hot, perfect for an autumn night, and the town had, like, lots of lights, and it was like, it's good. It's just good to do that stuff. Is that what you were expecting to happen? And around here, you just don't get that. This is stupid. I'm gonna go smash his shit up. Whoa, whoa, dude, hold up, no. Wakey, wakey, little Joe! Yeah, yeah! Okay, that didn't sound right. Blah! Siggy guy said, wow? Siggy guy? You mean Beatrice, the croc lady? Holy shit. Holy shit! What did you do? You were right! About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. Well, we're lucky it wasn't deeper. <laughs> cider was the best part. And, like, they do sell cider. Like, you can go grab some stuff now. Like, Walmart will sell you, like, the caramel apples and the cider, but... Um. Yeah, that's a coffin. Here, Chad, if you've got time, I'll give you a quick little recipe. Try a warm apple. If you can. If you've got, like, an oven, you should have an oven. Or a grill. Take some apple slices. Uh, put a little butter, a little squab of butter on those apples. You don't have to put it, like, on the apples. Just mix it in there. And spray some, like, cinnamon or brown sugar, if you prefer. Wrap that up in foil, like, cluster that up, put it on your, uh, heating element for however long, and there you go. Warm apple. So, we're gonna open it, right? No. We're not going to open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it. B, It's been a long time. It's not rotting anymore. Jeez, God, we are not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you kind of curious, at least? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Okay. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One. Two. Three. Uh, uh. So, what? Foul play? Who knows? We're detectives! We're not. We're like criminal vandals. We're like grave robbers or something. Well, those two. We're a lot of things right now. <laughs> what? So, there's someone back there watching us. Oh, God. I don't know where they went. Just like out of the corner of my eye. Is it... I don't know, but we need to leave now. It could be the ghost! No, we're gone now. Okay, fine, jeez. Oh! Spooky. Spooky! Well, that was weird, huh? What time do we have right now? 18. Okay. Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? Uh, okay, fine, but he was there. May, it was the groundskeeper or something. Investigating who was in ruining his graveyard. How do you know a groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. Ah! I saw the fucking ghost. We saw someone. There are other people in the graveyard, you know. Ugh, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Always check your ghost pronouns. Yeah, ghosts would be kind of ambiguous, wouldn't they? It's Meat Dad. Hey, Dad. Hello. No, we're not going to do that. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Oh, I am sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. 
How do you do it? Mm, do what? Always running around and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. Oh my god. Can you imagine saying these words? May as she proceeds to jump around. Oh, I'm so out of shape. Oh, uh, I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. Heard you and your mom went out on an adventure today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at the smiling cat. She talked about it all through dinner. You know, you should be home for dinner sometime. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Go to bed, you. Ooh. I got, uh, speaking of food, here's an exciting thing from the events of Laz's life. Here's my highlight. Uh, I got a new foreman, and the new foreman was cracked when it arrived. They didn't even ship it in, like, a shipping package. They just shipped it in the the product box. So when I opened it, the some of the plastic on the top had been chipped off. I was like, oh, cool. It works, but I was like, great. And I was like, well, I could return this and go through that whole kerfuffle, but I'm like, oh, it's whatever. I guess I'll make it work. And it works fine. Just... I didn't really care that much. I was just... As long as it, like, didn't... You know, the heating element didn't get fucked with or something. So, of course, I started making paninis. And I've got these two panini recipes I'm working on. Very refreshing. They're delicious. The first one is, like, uh, some kind of Italian one. You take, like, a thick cut of tomato, mozzarella, uh, some balsamic vinegar, and sage. Preferably, you want to have... Or, no, excuse me, basil. Uh, you preferably want to have, like, a whole leaf of basil, but I just went with the, the dry stuff. I made paninis out of that. It's very refreshing. Nice flavor. And uh, the other one I'm going to be making is a... Uh, what was it? It's a ham Swiss apple. Baked apple. So... It sounds exactly what it sounds like. You just take your ham. Uh, again, these are kind of discount versions. You know, if I had like a ham slice or like actual a cut of ham, I would just use that. Take your ham, you take your apple, cut that into slices, and you mix it with your your cheese, your Swiss. I'll probably add a little seasoning to it. My secret chat is always garlic salt. I always add just a dash of garlic salt and put a very thin coat of butter on the bread, and it adds a little bit. So, but I'm very excited, because paninis are great, and I had a cold one with some hot coffee for my breakfast, and it was very delicious. I've got a basil plant I can make this. I thoroughly recommend it. Paninis are fucking fantastic. They're like sandwich too. It's like you've you've now taken the sandwich to a whole new level. Um, so I thoroughly recommend it. Yeah, all you need is tomato, mozzarella, basil. Uh, some balsamic vinegar. If you have, uh, what is it, virgin olive oil, I think you need to spread that on... You You would technically need, what is it called, ciabatta? Is that how you say it, chat? That's the kind of bread that you're supposed to use. They didn't have that, so I just used regular bread, but they're very good. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. Oh, grilled fucking cheese. What's up? Hey, sorry I kind of wrecked the cemetery. It's okay. What? Oh, Siri thought I was talking to her. Shut up, Siri. No one's talking to you. It's okay. I know you didn't mean to. I mean, what's a grave defilement or two? How about that ghost, though? May, seriously, it was the groundskeeper. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? I thought you believed in ghosts. I do. Kinda, I think. Couldn't that have been a ghost? I just don't assume every person is a ghost. Everyone could be a ghost. Am I a ghost, me? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? It's haunting me forever. Make you learn how to drive, at the very least. But anyway, how could you even make him out? It was so foggy. I could tell, okay? I could feel it. Honestly, we're lucky it was so foggy. Or he'd be able to identify us to the police. Ah. Uh... Fine. Whatever. I'm sorry I made you mad. It's fine, it's fine. Thanks for going with me. I drove. You came with me. Well, thanks for going. You're welcome. Get some sleep. You need it. I so do. Night, dude. Good night. Hey, hey! 
Yo, yo, yo! Dude. Hey, hey, hey! How was your spooky night? Dude, we went to the cemetery, and we accidentally, like, opened a coffin. It was totally like the corpse of the ghost. Or you know what I mean. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! And it was, like, fucking nuts, man. Did you see your ghost? I totally did. It must be on the right track. Dude's probably pissed that you messed with his grave. <laughs> Oof, you're right. Whatever. I'm gonna go to bed. Good job on, like, all that? You know it, dude. Good night as hell, brah. Ugh. Good night as fuck. Yeah, kids do say bra still. <laughs> Thanks, Sharkle. Time do I have? 130? Um. Proceed to the next day. Meow. Meow. Oh. Oh yeah. Ghost. Yeah, I would I used to think ghosts were kind of real chat when I was a kid. Um but like when you you know now of course when you see them and we watch those ghost videos, it's it's very silly. <laughs> Cause like, you know, ghosts never do anything that makes sense. Or they're never consistent. But it's fun, dumb schlock. Oh yeah, this part, okay. Hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I thought to talk to. <laughs> Are you God? No. Oh! So... Seconds ago, little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. I am asking what God is. And they are telling me. And I am not this God. And this God is nowhere. Well, you can't see God. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith. And moments ago is the beginning. And I am here then and here now. And there is nowhere for God to be hiding. What? So, what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? Those other giant animals. I haven't seen ghosts. They're like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... I lost it. Never seen a caveman ghost? What a perfect way to sum it up. Yeah, where the fuck are the caveman ghosts? Where are the ghosts from, like, ancient times, man? Where are the primate ancestral ghosts, and why are ghosts always people? Yeah, just... Silly. A great beast walking through the sands, and they are climbing into the air, and now they are making a tear. Now they are gone, and now you are here. What? A tear? Or a tear, I guess? With their hooves, they are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air, and they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. Man, my head hurts. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea, and beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Ah, oh, fleas! Ah! Oh God, oh God! They are blind, but they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? Closing the sky? Yes. Yes. 
will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything. It is always growing between the stars and I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping, and the universe is forgetting you. What, you mean a black hole? Yeah. You ever read about those chat, those monster-sized black holes that just kind of exist out in space? And the universe is being forgotten, and there is nothing to remember it. Not even the things beyond. And now there is only the hole. So, does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? Uh, <laughs> soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again, and the universe is forgetting you. I think this is just nihilism. Not the edgy nihilism, just nihilism. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten, goodbye, little creature. Bye, space cat. Oh. That's always fun. I like that they're space fleas. Cosmic, like, fleas would definitely be... Or ticks, rather. Those would definitely be very scary to a cat. And me, and you, because they suck. Anyway. Um... Like I said, this was going to be a short stream chat. That's going to do it for now, for this one. This is an hour and a half. Um, but it's the weekday. I still have work I got to go do. So we will continue this, I think, tomorrow. Since they're short streams, I should be able to just pick it up tomorrow, right at the very end. Someone follow. Thank you very much, Sir the W. Appreciate that so much. I should be back tomorrow for the same time. If I'm going to do short streams like this, then I might as well try to finish the game up. I'll try to hit you guys up around 6 or 7 p.m. EST tomorrow. Unless something else comes up, but... Appreciate you guys hanging out. Yes, I know, I know, it's a short one, but... This game kind of takes it out. If it was a regular game, I would just be like, Bleh. But, anyway. Thanks, guys. I'll upload this on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks. Happy September again. And I will see you again real soon. But, appreciate you hanging out. As we almost conclude our annual Night in the Woods playthrough. Until then, guys, bye-bye.